Right, put the motherboard out. Now we're going to remove the heat sink. This is the, uh, the true 120. First of all, remove the fan. It pops off. So that needs a bit of a clean. And there's simply four spring loaded screws. Lapping this. I'll see how it goes. I probably won't. So I'll clean that up. I've actually popped a mat clean today. I've got some tin clean. It's about seven pound. Yeah, but a big bottle should last me a lifetime. And I'll get back to you when I'm finished. The mud board, just about to put the uh, heat sink back on. We're going to put a bit of chill factor on. This comes with the uh, thermal tape. Now I'm going to mount the heat sink the other way than it was, just to make a change to see if there's any uh, temperature differences. Right, before I started dismantling the computer, I had a look to see where my lights would look good. Um, so I put them in various places, putting the side panel on as well, and then checking out the light to see how it looked. Um, what I decided was the best is to have a UV light coming across the bottom now, and a blue light going down the side here. Um, with the side panel on, you won't see this blue one, you'll only just slightly see the UV one. Um, but even though it seems to be around the corner here, it does give off quite a nice light, um, which, which I like. So, both the cables are quite handy because they finish here at the bottom together. Um, and basically, I'm going to be fishing them both through this hole. Um, I will be sleeving them black and and with a little bit of shrink wrap on as well. And basically those, both of those cables will come through and plug into this box here. Now that box I'm going to hide, it does slide under there. So I'll be able to hide that away. Um, once that's under there, that's just need power then. And Come with the cables which I chopped about because I didn't like um, 
and basically it did come with the Molex, I've chopped off the black and the red, taken them out, all we need is the yellow and the black, which is uh, 12 volts. I've got a number of Molex fitted connections here, um, I'll probably pop it into this one, which will then leave me this cable, which will fit all feed you know, through here somewhere at the bottom, um, to plug into the blue box. Which, which feeds the lights. These cables is obviously just the just the cut that, that that will complete the loop. So in between there, I'll be putting the switch. Now the switch I've already placed in the front. I've got another three-way switch just to match the rest, which control the fans. Um, so yeah, basically I'll be connecting these two onto them. Now. Before I do that, I've got a, I've already sleeved and shrink wrapped this part and the Rolex. Um, I'm going to extend this red wire to match the, the length of the yellow one. Um, I don't have any red, but I do have some black, which it doesn't really matter the colour. Uh, they're both going to be live. Now, to extend it, I'll be soldering this piece of cable on. First of all, I'll clean the ends of the cable with some flux. This is um, definitely needs doing. The flux will clean it off and make sure you get good contact with your solder. warm up a bit. So I'm just going to clean the end up a little bit. Setting that on fire. Some people put a bit of solder on the tip. Do this clean up. Basically then you want to heat the cable Get the cable nice and warm Actually it's already Deared straight away Basically, it. that's soldered. I'll put a bit of tape around there and, and then sleeve. Right, so basically, I've put some sleeving on there now. Um, I'm now going to put a little bit of shrink wrap around the end. This is 5mm shrink wrap. Get all different sizes. You basically want some over the cable and some over the sleeving so it can stick to both. And you can use a heat gun. I then have a heat gun. I'm going to need a lighter. Basically, yeah. see it shrink. Just try not to 
bit prior to it. going to be behind. I'm not going to bother putting shrink wrap around. All I do is put a small cable tie around and then trim back the, uh, the excess. <laughs> 